Hello, I am here to show you my final project for my computer science class. Um, basically, this project is uh, to this project creates a, I'm, I'm creating a pro program that runs a game that is similar to the one in uh, WarioWare Inc. The one where you control a paper airplane through various obstacles. So let's see. Yeah, I'm just going to show you some of the code here. Oh, yeah. Here is the driver class. It's a lot, so I'm not going to show you everything. So here's the applet. Here is the sprite class. Here is the paper airplane class, the wall class, sidewall class, the class, and the timer class. And let's see here. Uh, yeah. So that's all the classes. That's I don't think you heard me since someone's talking to me. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm gonna just, just run the program now. All right. Take note of this because I'm pretty sure you won't be able to see it later on for whatever reason due to the lighting. Uh, yeah. So yeah. Here, if you notice that I've taken songs from, I think a song from Excite Bike. I'm not original, so I don't know how to make any of these songs. Uh, yeah, so don't sue me, okay? I don't want to get sued by Nintendo or anything. And here you can see I named this the Paper Airplane Game. Yeah, a very original title, yes, I know. Okay, uh, now I'm going to start this game. I'm not very good, so don't expect me to get too far. As you can see, the main obstacle of the game is to get as many, get as far as you can without hitting any of these obstacles here. As you can see, as you level up, which you'll probably see later, you'll hear a sound. Um, I can't really describe it, but you'll hear it. Um, there it is. Okay. Basically, when that happens, the distance between these obstacles decreases so it makes it harder for you to get in. It's not very noticeable at first, so but after you take a couple levels you will see that it's getting way smaller. Now, let's see here. Um uh, okay, down here you can see there's a red button. This controls the music in the game. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Let me repeat that. This controls the music in the game so that you can turn it off or on. Damn. Yeah. Okay, I'll demonstrate. If you click this, it will turn off, as you can see, and you can turn it back on anytime you want. This does not affect the sound, so even if it's off, you can still hear the dinging, as you can see. Now, okay, now that it's off, let me see here. Okay, there we go. Uh, now, you click this again, it'll obviously work anywhere, so as you can see, it produces the music here, too. Okay, hopefully you can see this now, the credits button down here. This leads to the credits screen where you can see all the people who made it. Uh, yeah. Okay, so as you can see, you can see all the people who have been involved. All one of them. Yeah, okay. So, and also you notice that I stated that the original concept is by Nintendo, not me. So, hopefully I don't get sued from this. So yeah, there's my project. And that is all.